Today, we're looking at how Unreal Air AR glasses operate with both a 2019 Intel MacBook Pro and a 2021 M1 MacBook Pro. Long story short, with the latest firmware updates, you'll be able to mirror or extend your display with both Intel and M1 MacBook Pros. However, as of the publishing of this video, the Mac OS beta version of Nebula will only run and operate correctly on M1 MacBooks. For the Intel Mac, you just need to plug in the glasses to any USB-C port. From there, you can select whether to have your display mirrored or extended. We'll go ahead and extend our display here. On the bottom, we have a desktop background, and above, you can see a browser window. For the M1 Mac, you'll also just need to plug in to any USB-C port. Here, we've chosen to mirror our display with the YouTube channel page displayed on both displays. And if you find the information in this video useful, please consider giving a like and subscribe. And as usual, links are down in the description below. M1 users get the added option of using the Nebula beta app. This allows you to configure up to three virtual displays. The one caveat is that each display is limited to a resolution of 1496 by 935. And one of the displays must be a mirror of the laptop display. With the MacBook closed, you can use the glasses as an external display, but the Nebula beta app will not work correctly. While the latest update to the Nebula app improved the multi-screen experience, moving your head around still results in some jitteriness with the screens. Your mileage may vary on whether this is a deal breaker for you or not. For me, it really skirts the line of usability and I'll need to spend a little more time with it to see if it fits my workflow or not. And for more information about AR glasses and accessories, click on this next video.